Last week, Christina went to Ava's suite in the hope that she retract a subpoena served by Scott. Ava's motives were clear. She was willing to stop at nothing to ensure. She gained the upper hand in the contentious struggle for custody with Sonny. The emotional stakes rose significantly as Nick's ex seized Christina by the arm, prompting Sonny's daughter to instinctively recoil from her grip. As a result, she plummeted several stories, down to the depths of the Metro Court pool below. Later, Avery's mother swiftly closed the windows to eliminate any potential evidence that could implicate her in a tragic fall. What she didn't realize was that Trina witnessed the entire scene unfold, positioning her as a key player. When law enforcement arrived at the scene, Ava quickly spun a fabricated tale to cover her tracks. However, her version of events was met with skepticism, particularly from Dante. We don't know if she will be able to get away with it, but she would never have guessed that the accident would cause Christina to lose her child. Christina was slowly regaining consciousness, her mind swirling in confusion and agony. Her world shattered, painfully punctuating the loss of a child she had already begun to love and envision a future with. The pain was so great that she even mistakenly thought that the baby was still alive, and she held her little daughter in her arms. But it was just a dream. The harsh truth was that the baby could not survive. Sunny recently visited her, which helped her feel more comforted. But it seems that after this tragedy, Molly's sister formed a grudge against Ava, even though she was not the one who pushed her down. She urged her father to make Avery's mother pay. G.H. Spoilers says that as the loss lingers in Christina's mind, and her hatred grows, she may make a foolish decision to take down the gallery owner once and for all. Ava will eventually suffer dire consequences, but will she fall victim to Sunny or Christina?